Welcome back to the Meditation Challenge. My name is Lodro. This is the opportunity we have to go through these traditional mind training slogans that actually are very relevant to our modern day. Um, so many of them, these like little pithy practice instructions, date back to, they all date back to Atisha in, in ancient India, but so many of them still feel like he could have written them yesterday. And today's is certainly like that. Uh, it's the 30th of all of these, and if you haven't seen the previous videos, you can go back on the youtube.com and check them out, but no need to. They stand alone as well. But the 30th is um, what your spouse will say to you when you take him or her to that same restaurant for the millionth time. The translation is, don't be so predictable, <laughs> right? Which is such a funny one that this is like the important pithy advice for how we we train the mind and open our heart from um, ancient India. It's just don't be so predictable. Now, the way it's often talked about in the traditional commentaries is that when we feel insulted, when someone has slighted us or put us down, instead of just letting that go, we store that. We like file it away in some very specific mental filing cabinet called resentment. And we just hold on to it for years and it lives there and it builds and it builds and it holds up a lot of mind space. And this is predictable, habitual behavior. So the advice here is let go of predictable behavior, and in particular of grudges. They hold us back. They, as I said before, just occupy way too much mental energy. It's not worth us um, dedicating so much of our mental space to feeling insulted. More often than not, when we are insulted by someone, it actually has very little to do with us and just there has more to do with their own carelessness and them being lost in their own head and their own suffering. Uh, we're just the hapless victim in that case. So um, the practice advice from Chogun Trungpa Rinpoche, his Tibetan Buddhist teacher, would be that we would communicate immediately and directly with the situation. In other words, when something like that comes up, we lean into it. We either address it directly with that person, we um, talk to other people who need to be brought in on the situation, or we acknowledge that we feel insulted, realize that this person's suffering, and just let it go. Whatever it means to us in that moment, we don't just file it away and let it take up mental space. We deal with it. So here we're recognizing what actions, when we feel slighted or insulted, will actually be beneficial, and which will actually be harmful. So just taking this momentary pause of like, how do I want to lean into this, instead of just defaulting to, I'm insulted, I'm going to dwell on it, I'm going to put on the blinders and just get into my own head. Letting that go so that we don't rely on the way things have always been done. And realizing that we could do something different. And what we do differently now might actually be a better solution than what we've done in the past. So many of us have perpetuated our habitual patterns thinking, maybe this time my defense mechanism will work. And uh, more often than not, it doesn't. So let's try something different. The practice advice for today is to take one thing you do every day that may not necessarily be helpful to you. Try not to do it. See what happens.